Hi there, I'm Tenzin from Nail Tenzin and today in this video I'll be sharing with you how I made those snowflake nails using the sweater nail technique. I made two different sets, one is more the beige brown and one is more white and black. I am using the balloon stickers to stick the press on nails onto the stand. Stickers are very sturdy, uh, as you can see, they stick really well. You, if you are using some gel polish and some nail art, these are perfect. So I am first buffing all my press on nails. This is the color palette that I'll be using. Uh, it goes from the darkest to the whitest, so from black to white, and then I mix the gray with the black and gray with the white will be applying two thin coat of the gel polishes and curing them in between and please don't mind my nails because I tried to play stones and it kind of flooded my cuticle area so there was a little lifting and then I kind of took a big chunk of the nails there now I am applying my matte top coat. I'll be doing that on every press on nails here and curing them for 60 seconds. So for the drawing part, I am trying to draw a half of the snowflakes. Um, I am now using my thin brush to kind of create some lines. I am using the same colors um, as well that I use underneath that uh, and trying to create the flakes. Actually, I already made this nail set I think a year ago for a client for a press on nails and now I just wanted to recreate that. Okay, so in between the lines, you can place some uh, triangular shape, uh, but connecting to each other, it creates a very nice, like the snowflakes. And here I realize I might just need one more straight lines to kind of create like the exactly middle of the snowflake. So here I am doing that and one more of those triangular shape inside the bigger one. So now with my dotting tool, I am placing some dots on top of the side of the flakes and here and there, and also some dots on the bigger triangular shape snowflakes. And I am applying some clear acrylic powder on the top and I realized how close I was to ruining this nail. That's some anxiety on a different level because I uh, looked at all the videos and I realized I've been doing this on all of the nails. So. So here I am uh, using the darker gray to create a again half of the snowflakes but now on the edge of the nail doing exactly like the first nail I am creating those triangular shape now in the middle only difference here is I won't be making those smaller triangular shape underneath because there is not so much of a space there the acrylic powder on the top um, as I said this is the clear acrylic powder and then curing this for 60 seconds okay so while I am doing the same thing here uh, there's a tip I can give you and that is when you apply something like that thin out your brush beforehand because when you place a big chunk of gel polish on your nail it tends to rest and become more flatter if that makes sense or if your gel polishes are too runny what you can do is you can draw some line first and then apply the acrylic powder and then cure it first and you can draw the rest of the nail and you can repeat the process like that 
is watching this process gives me a lot of anxiety because look how close I am with my with my acrylic powder it is very close okay so this is for my ring finger so uh, here I am drawing a full snowflakes so as you can see I am drawing a cross first and then crossing it in the sideways like so and now here as well okay so here i can only fit one of those um, side thing that i'm drawing because in the middle and the horizontal line it is very short so i am just doing a little one i really like this um, sweater nail technique especially using like the matte background it kind of gives like it's warm and cold at the same time i think it's perfect for the fall and the winter seasons i made two different sets with the same nail technique but with different color palettes because I didn't really know which one I would like the best so uh, when you see the other color let me know in a comment down below which one you like the most so here I am doing the same thing as I did to the others and here I only create one triangular shape because otherwise it was going to be too much and too busy but yet I place some dots here and there for some anxiety because here it goes goodness like how did I not mess them up it's so so close okay so for my pinky i am doing the same thing as i did for my thumb i am drawing the half of the snowflakes from the side Okay, so applying my acrylic powder now, uh, try to cover as much as possible. If you see some wet area, uh, try to apply more and then cure it like this in the lamp. So now for the fun part, I am dusting off, but I realized the brush was too soft, so bringing in the big gun. I uh, am using my cuticle brush and now brushing off. It's good to be gentle, but because it's, it is already cured, so I thought maybe I can just use that instead. Oh, I love it. I love it how it came out. Look at this. And of course, I am filing the edges because they are a little uneven. Doing this for all of the nails. It's the best part right here. Peeling this off, it's so satisfying. this is super cute i really love how it came out like look at this white one i really didn't expect much from that but 
came out super cute and for the next set i am only showing you the part where i kind of dust off the remaining uh, because all the technique and so are the same just a different color let me know in a comment down below which one you like the most here i am just say this one this color i really like this one was really pretty okay so this is how the beige set kind of looked i really love how it came out it's screaming fall for me even though there are snowflakes on it let me know and comment down below what you guys think which one you like hope you like this video and find it helpful if it did please leave a like and consider subscribing thank you